Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Creatively Sandra. Today I have a pin and pop haul. I have this very plain box, <laughs> but in it is lots of pins from the August pin and pop haul. I've cut it open, but have not dived into it. So we're gonna check it out and see what's in there. This is um, pin and pop is an online trading event. I will leave a link below for you to check out more about it, but it is awesome. It is um, a way to do lots of trading in one shot with one shipping. Look at that. Okay, how perfect is this for me? It is a Joy keychain and I love that a little plush um, keychain there. So that is so cute. So Jen runs this and she always includes little gifts for us in the package. So that is awesome. I've got some frozen stickers see how close we are the camera's a little bit close right now but we'll move back a bit i'm going to unpack this and look at the um initial contents and then i will stop and unwrap everything just so we can go a little faster so there's two thank you cards in here let's see oh i think um this one looks generic and this one is for me <laughs> sandra thanks for being an awesome trader hope these new pins bring you joy jen so that is sweet that she includes that. There's always a personalized note in there. And then this is kind of an inventory of what I traded. And so we're gonna be diving through all that. So you can see the massive amount of pins in this box. Let me go ahead and pull some out and I'll be right back with more. Okay, I've got most of these unpacked. And what I wanna start with is the ones that got returned to me. So. There are always some, and this list I have in front of me is just the ones I received, not what I traded to the person, but there's always some that get returned, um, especially when you're doing a large amount. I had 32 trades this time around. You can see the pages of pins that I'm receiving and four of them got returned. And sometimes it's my fault, sometimes it's the other person's, but Jen is really good about tracking that and um, letting you know. And if you're doing a small amount of trades, she'll even offer you some retrade. This one was my pin that I traded and it says that it was returned because the other pin was missing. So somebody who I was trading with did not send their pin in, so that came right back to me. I'm going to note on this one also, there's things you can put in the notes because the backer card on this is kind of messed up. And so I'm going to include just that note so somebody sees it in a future trade. But um, this one wasn't returned to me for that. It was returned because the other pin did not show up. This one was also returned, but I don't see a note attached to this one. Um, so this will go back in my traders. I don't know if... Um, the person just didn't send in their pin or if there was any other reason. I don't see any flaws and I didn't get a note that it had a flaw, so. And then I had this one. I almost had a little panic attack because I just retraded this. Because it was in my database, I offered it for trade, but then I was looking through my traders and I didn't have it. And oh my goodness, it's because <laughs> it was on its way back to me. So this is um, one of the parade pins for Mad Hatter. I, like I said, already retraded it. And um, this was also another one where the other pin was missing. So no issues with my pin, just the other one didn't show up. And then the last one that got returned, and let's see what the reason was. So it was a, oh, there's another pin in there. Okay. It was this one from the Mulan series, from the bookmark series. Let's see. Uh, looks like maybe there's a flaw on this one. Okay, let's check it out. So the front of this card says that there's a production flaw. And what they do is they give the, um, the person I traded with, they'll usually send a picture to them and show them the flaw and see if they still want to trade. So it says it's to the left of Milan. So I think maybe it's this right here and I don't see it coming off. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's almost like a little scratch or something right there. And so that's what made it um, not trade. Now, I think I did retrade this one. So I'm going to have to reach out and see 
um, what to do about that because I don't want to send it back in flawed and that person gets a bad pin. All right, so let's dive into what I received. Sorry for the camera shake. So um, I missed unwrapping this one, so give me a second. This is a cool one. Um, I am obsessed with the ear hats right now. I guess since the new hidden Disney pins came out, I've been trying to get those and then seeing others. Now this one is an older one, I guess, and it is a steampunk style. Um, I don't remember what it was called, but it is a Disney Parks one. So it's pretty cool. Um, I think they questioned the authenticity just because she wasn't as familiar with this series, but it looks good to me and it's gonna be a keeper. So I'm gonna put that on my board. I hope my board doesn't fall over. All right, I got this one. Um, I thought these were nice little fillers for my collections of princesses. So I'm trying to get the princesses that I collect. So that is Rapunzel. This was a, um, I think like a box lunch or lounge fly series. Yeah, it looks like lounge fly. And so it was, um, all the princesses or most of them were included. So that is a fun one to add. It's cool in this um, trade event that there is all kinds of value of pins. You can get high-end pins, you can get the, the box lunch pins, the lower end park pins, and anything, anything that's there. All right, I've got most of this collection. I think I only need one more after this and I'll have to check who it is, but this is the Aurora version. Again, this is a Loungefly collection, I believe. Yep, that was in the Box Lunch Hot Topic stores. That's pretty cool. This one I love. This, I didn't get any of the boxes, but was looking for this one and the Snow White. I think the colors are weird. Um, I don't know why they chose the colors that they did, but I still think it's just a gorgeous pin. So this purple is representing Tiana. Um, and the other one I want is Snow White, which is green, which is kind of weird, but I still think it's a gorgeous pin and I am keeping it. So we'll add that one. Okay, this one is so cool. I think these came in four packs. So ear hats and ears in general, I think is gonna be that little board that I'll have. And so this is Anger, and there's a couple more I'd like to get of these. Um, they also had like a princess series as well that came in a four pack. And I think I have maybe one of those, but this is cool um, to add to the collection. These are, you know, uh, I think these came out this past year or 2023 maybe. So super cute. I added this pin to my collection. And this is, I have a very small turning red collection, like maybe three pins, <laughs> three or four pins. Um, so it just goes in my Pixar book, which by the way, I now have a Pixar book because I've been finally trying to organize some of my pins and adding them. This looks like it was maybe um, like a bio world one, I think, or, or maybe it was just hot, um, box lunch. I think that's what this recycled symbol usually comes from. But I thought this was cute with that stained glass effect for um, Mei Mei as a panda and her and her mom there. So that is cute. I got a lot of small ones this time. This is from the Alice in Wonderland micro pin collection. So I have a couple of these and this was a fun one just to add to the um, collection. These were pink a la mode mystery boxes. So on the back of this, it's just, I don't even know if you can see that. Um, I think they were, yeah, limited edition or special edition, it says of 300. You can kind of see that there. Look, all my pins fit in this one little corner so far. Hmm. Okay, these are really cool. I saw these, never knew they existed, but somebody had them for trade and now I'm all on it. I want them. <laughs> so they are guitars from a mystery pin set. This is Jungle Book featuring Baloo and then he's got um, bananas up on where the keys of the guitar are. And um, I just thought these were really cute. So not only did I get this one, let's add that, but I did get another. And I also in this weekend's 
trade event, I just traded for one more. I think I traded for an Aurora, which should be very pretty. But the other one for this event that I got is Mrs. Potts. So how cute is this? Um, you've got Lumiere there and kind of hanging on. I don't know what's going on with it. Oh, there's his head. Yeah, <laughs> I thought he was kind of bent over, but that's his hands. This is his head. And then Mrs. Potts down there with some bubbles coming out and then the rose at the top. So such a pretty, pretty pin. Sorry, I think I had that one too low and I'm excited to add that one as well. Ooh, PP. Is this a um, pre-production? It sure is. Um, that's not what pre-production pre pin, pre, wow, the name just went out of my head. There's AP pins and there's PP pins that are the ones that go out before they actually officially put out the line of pins. So um, artist proof and pre-production are kind of sought after by some people. Um, I think they're fun to have. I don't know that it'll make a difference on my board, but that's pretty good. I did not know it was an artist proof or PP. Okay, this one's cute. This is a new um, box lunch or Hot Topic series, and um, this is Cinderella. So I'd love to get more of these, but saw one for trade, so I took advantage of that. I have not bought any boxes of this, but that is very pretty. Um, and I think they're all like this silhouette form, maybe different shades of metal. Again, you see the crowns because it is a lounge fly. Awesome. So starting that series. All right. Speaking of ear hats, I have a Dumbo here and I think I have multiple Dumbos. I've gotten multiple Dumbos. I've traded Dumbo twice. I don't need this Dumbo. <laughs> so he will go in the traders. You've probably seen them before if you've been watching my videos. All right, we got a couple of um, Ray pins. So I never got this one. This is an older um, series from Loungefly, I believe, and it featured the sidekicks on record players. I just think that's a cute little concept and anything with Ray is for me. I love him, him and Lewis. And this again is a Loungefly pin. So very fun. Okay, next we have, oh my goodness, this one is an old series that I never finished. And so I put it on my seeking list. It actually came up, somebody had it available. So perfect, we'll call that collection done as well now. So Pocahontas from a mystery pack of princesses. Oh, this one is so fun, look at this. This is a sparkly dress of Rapunzel. And there ha was a series that came out either from Loungefly or Box Lunch of the princess dresses that also sparkled, but this is not that. This was older and um, this looks like a park pin. So sometimes these are so hard to get off. So it just has Disney on the back. So I think that's the case. And I think when I looked it up, um, and it was offered to me, it is definitely a park pin. It does look like it has some little dips and stuff flaws. And I don't know if that means anything, but I like it. I think it's gonna look great on the board. So I'm not gonna be picky about this one because I just love the colors and the sparkle in this one. Beautiful. I didn't get a lot of big pins this time, which is funny because my next trade, I feel like I'm sending out all big pins. All right. Oh, I mentioned Ray and I had a couple of him and this was the other one. This was that, uh, I can never remember the name. It's like Stitch Cuties. So this one was from this year, like early summer, I think, where mystery bags where you got five in a bag and I did not get Ray. So I didn't keep too many of these. I kept Gus and Ray and, well, I didn't keep Ray. I just got him, but I kept Pascal, I believe. Okay. I have a couple of sweaters in here that I never got. So for my Christmas collection, these were the box lunch ones. There was also another series of mystery pins like this. These ones, there were, I believe I have a Tiana and maybe Rapunzel that were part of this, you know, individual pins available. And then there was a um, mystery box set 
for lounge fly or box lunch and then there was another mystery box set for um the parks as well so i've been finishing those sweater collections and i think i have another one in here somewhere that is um one of the other sweaters that i needed let's see is it this nope this is another look at all this pins these are all like <laughs> small pins and mystery box pins but they help complete as well as start some collections so this is ariel's version of the um the glass dome pins these were a lounge fly as well i believe let's take a look at the back i save all these little pin and pop cards by the way because when i send pins back to them for trade i reuse the cards so that's great so this is the last one I needed in that series. So that's cool because that is done. I got a Snow White in this clock series and this is fun. So the trader attached the little card of the series. Let's take this off and a little sticker. So let me show you, this is the series. And right now I have maybe three of them oh yeah three of them I was looking where they are on my board above me she included the Mary Poppins sticker which is super cute and then this is the snow white clock so the ones I still need are Ariel and Belle looks like so I'll be hunting for those okay I have another ear hat this is one of the ones that came out this year in the hidden disney packs this is from the walt disney world collection same as where the dumbo came from and this is one i hadn't gotten by getting packs myself it is ariel also and so that is helping to complete the ear hat collection oh this one is fun this is a train so this is an older set um i bought one i think off of marcy mouse and then i found two more and then <laughs> and now it's a thing this might be the fourth one that i have from this collection i think it's like from 2017. it's not on here it's not on the pin but i i know i noted it down elsewhere and so this is the caboose so i thought the the beginning of the train the engine and the caboose were the most important to have and now i have those and i can do whatever on the in-between ones so that's kind of fun because I now have a complete train, even if I don't complete the set. All right, here is another one from last year's Princess series, and it is Snow White. These are coming along. Um, I've got quite a few of them now. Definitely wanted to add Snow White to my collection. Look at that red. Oh, it's gorgeous, the sparkle of these. I really like these much better than this year's pin. Um, so that's pretty fun. It is a park pin, if I didn't mention that, but um, 2023, I believe. I've kind of got my board just jacked up there, so it may fall down on us. <laughs> All right, this was a villain series, a park mystery pack, and I think there are eight in there. And right now I have, this will be the sixth one. So I know I'm missing, I never remember his name, but the guy from Mulan, and then I'm not sure what other one. So I have Ursula, I had Evil Queen, I have Hades, Hook, and Maleficent, and now Cruella. So there's gotta be two more at least available. If you know which ones, let me know. I know the guy from Mulan is one of them, but I just don't know the last one. Look at that cool design in the back there. It's kind of like red fire and her car on the top these are very cool so i thought that was a great um villains park collection just a few more to go guys oh i found the sweater so it is not on a card but it is the hercules sweater so that is one of the last ones i needed in the this was the parks mystery set of the ugly sweaters and i think this was christmas of 2022 maybe um, these were a limited release. It does have the cubic zirconia. So when did those start? Could this be from, I don't think this was 2023. Pretty sure it was the year before, but I, it seems like those um, cubic zirconias didn't start back that far. 
So the only one I need left of that one is Bolt, and it might be on the way. I might have traded for that this weekend. <gasps> Ooh, Merida. This is a gorgeous one too. So the only thing about this one is because her hair is so much, you don't get that glitter background. <laughs> her hair is taking up the whole frame, but she is gorgeous. Excited to have that one as well. These seem like they need to be displayed together. I may have to go pull the other ones from their collections. Okay, this one is a gorgeous pin. It is a Easter pin, but I couldn't resist when it became available and it is Rapunzel. This is Happy Easter 2024. It was from this year. I did not pick it up in the parks, but it is a limited edition and it is gorgeous. It is pin on pin. You have that pearlized background there. I think there's another word for it, but I always forget. And let's see the back. Yep, so you've got, it's limited edition of 1700. You've got the cubic zirconia there, so you know it's a newer pin and it is really cute. I don't even know if I'm gonna wait for that to be on an Easter board. I don't have an Easter board, so that might just go with the regular Rapunzel collection. All right, three more guys. So this next one is one I could have easily picked up. It's an open edition new pin for 2024, Alice in Wonderland. In fact, I think I even gave this pin away in one of my giveaways this year but I did not get one for myself yet, so that was a perfect trade. And certainly um, that's something I do in Pin and Pop. Even if I have access to it, doesn't mean I have to spend money on it in the park if I can trade for it instead. All right, I've got a little tea turtle pin here. This one's very cute, even though not something I collect, but it is these tea turtle pins. They're not expensive. Um, they're done by this tea turtle company is the company that does t-shirts. They have some really cute, like chibi style of the characters, lots of lots of t-shirts. But um, they also have, I've been collecting the inside out characters from tea turtle pins. So this is Jack as the pumpkin king. We'll stick this one up really quick. And um, I don't think there's much on the back. I think it's pretty... Oh, it is Disney licensed. Sorry about that. It is Disney licensed by Tea Turtle. So these can be traded in the parks and that's just a, a cute one. Okay, the last pin, it looks like the person has included a little bit of extras. So I left this in the pack. It is, um, there's some things in here. Oh, there's some Lorcana cards. We've got Megara. That's fun. Look at little Hercules on a puppet string. Oh, <laughs> and so thank you for a great trade. Enjoy your new pin, Lauren Cohen. So that is super fun. She included a sticker and there's another card. Ooh, it's Della Duck. How fun is that? You don't see her very often, right? Unstoppable mom. She's reckless. This character can't quest and must be challenge each turn if available. Interesting. I don't know much about Lorcana, but that's pretty cool. And then this is the last pin. <laughs> I also received this pin in one of my uh, Pink Hollow Mode mystery packs, but I had traded for it before I opened that pack. Um, so one became a trader again, and this one is the one I will be keeping. Lauren, thank you so much for the trade. That is awesome. I'm going to just set him to the side. That is our last pin in this box. So again, we had four returns. So basically about 28 pins that I successfully traded, and I certainly have those others back in my inventory to trade again. So let me know what you think of these pins, which one might be your favorite. There's so many great ones to choose from here. I love Russell, of course, but this is gorgeous. Um, the Easter pin is gorgeous. Uh, I love the new guitars. That's very fun. And so this is just awesome. It was another awesome trade event. You guys definitely should check it out. You, It is free for membership and you can check it out and then decide if you want to trade. And then there's a, you know, a little fee for trading. Um, you buy tokens, etc. If you want to know more, just hit me up. I can point you to some great videos that will give you uh, an overview and instructions. And I can also answer questions that you have. So thank you guys for watching. 
Um, let me know down below which one you like. And if you stayed this long, this is just a reminder, I have a contest going on that was posted on October 1st or the 29th of September, sorry, the 30th. <laughs> last Monday. So check that out if you want to enter the contest. It's I'm showing Sleeping Beauty pins. That's how you'll find the video and go ahead and check it out and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!